What do you think? I got to go with the solid bunnies. I like them a lot more. But you, on the other hand. I like the hollow because why? you can put milk inside of these and drink oh, it. Oh, I like never thought milk. of it. That's so cool. Oh, I got to do that now. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, let's each take a bite. Okay? Mmm. <laughs> That's a good bunny. Happy That's Easter. Happy Easter. Yeah, it's a good <laughs> chocolate bunny, even though it's not really Easter yet. Hey, say something to the bunny. Oh my god. Say something to it. You're silly. I can't hear you. <laughs> my ears are gone. I know. <laughs> All right, let's toss it over the weather. Mm, I'm going to finish this, though. That is some good chocolate there. All right, we're still seeing a little, little bit of the rain around the area. But also, we have some flood warnings in effect for Brooks and Lowndes County as well, where they saw up to three inches of rain there. And we're still going to be seeing more rain into the next couple of hours and overnight hours as well. Courtesy of this little trail of rainfall that's making its way right now over the Apalachicola River into the Apalachicola National Forest. And we got some more making its way just into the western portions of Jackson County at this hour. Really, the entire state of Florida getting in on the heavy rainfall. This eventually going to ride up the eastern seaboard, but I think it's still going to be here tomorrow as well. A very slow moving system actually has some indications of kind of like a tropical depression just it's uh, not exactly like that because it's still not tropical season yet but still very slow moving dropping a lot of rainfall could see another inch or two in the next 24 hours and those rivers will definitely be rising over the weekend and cresting midweek so keep that in mind low-lying areas of course seeing that flooding especially over in Lowndes and brooks at this hour and here's those waterways that we're most concerned about to see that moderate flooding, the Alapaha, St. Mark's, Oaklockney, and Spring Creek are really the major concerns out there because they can get into the moderate flood level. Now, a lot of the rivers are all seeing minor flooding, but those are the ones that can see moderate flooding. Temperatures staying capped only in the 60s, even upper 50s at this hour in Thomas County, 59 in Homerville. That's because we started out early with the rain, and when you have rainfall throughout the entire day, it really puts a cap on those temperatures because we haven't seen any sunshine. No clear skies tonight either, so we'll call it 55 degrees. Still a little bit of scattered rainfall out there and breezy conditions as well. Some spotty showers tomorrow, but no more flood warnings in effect by tomorrow uh, morning. Those flood warnings are in fl flood watches, I should say, and by 2 a.m. Those flood warnings will be continuing, and we'll have more updates at WTXL.TV. Just click on the weather tab. Small craft advisory still in effect. Those northwesterly breeze coming at us about 10 to 20 knots, keeping the seas choppy. 69 is what we got for a temperature closer to the coastline. And we'll see maybe some peaks of sunshine, so we'll keep the UV index on the high side. So very wet conditions today. That's what happens when you have a low pressure system traips right over you. You get the core of the moisture, and that's certainly what we saw. Anywhere from about two to four inches is what we got around the Big Bend in South Georgia. Just some spotty showers tomorrow. We'll call it about a 30 to 40 percent coverage, and we'll tra we'll track this out for you tonight. There's that active weather pushing over the Apalachicola River right now, impacting Tallahassee right around 8 p.m. tonight. That pushes to the north into South Central Georgia and out of here by uh, 2, 3 a.m. I want to say, but then we still got the wraparound moisture and some scattered rainfall to impact us on your Saturday as well. Here's that seven day forecast. We are dry going into Easter Sunday. That is the good news. Even a little bit more temperate as well. Check that out. Temperatures getting into the 70s as we head into Saturday afternoon. So that's looking a okay. And we'll see mostly sunny skies after a little bit of cloud cover in the morning, but still great for all the Easter egg hunts. Great for an afternoon picnic. Whatever you want to do in the afternoon hours as well. Looking a okay. And we keep drying out through Monday as well with temperatures getting back into the 80s. So not a half bad forecast after this uh, Saturday looks like. Good stuff there. Yeah, good stuff. I'm yeah. enjoying my bunny. Uh, I'm going to put delicious. milk in it. I'm really excited about that. I did not even think about that. Why did you tell me that before? I don't know, I don't know Max. Uh, we never talk about Easter bunnies before. Uh, <laughs> Got to thank Rachel for, I the, guess for so. the chocolate bunnies. Yeah, our producer. Our producer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right.